Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, today we have uh, another Selenium challenge. You guys can solve this problem. It's quite straightforward, quite easy, but uh, you have to think a couple of things here, a couple of use cases here. So this is one of the assignment uh, given to one of the candidates who was in my training and then uh, we were actually solving it. And the scenario is actually very simple with respect to drag and drop. First, I'll tell you the scenario that uh, you can just see here on this page. You can do a drag and drop from the capital section to the country section, for example, Oslo, and it's a capital of Norway. Same thing, for example, Madrid is the capital of Spain. So when you see that when we are dragging and dropping, the respective capital name or city name is converting into some color. You can see some green color or something like this. But if I move, let's say Rome to Sweden, it's not converting it because this is a wrong combination. So what do you guys have to do that uh, whenever we are doing the right combination or right drag and drop, it should, you have to validate that it's a right one on the basis of this particular color. So you have to fetch the color and you have to validate that the color is correct or not. Same thing when you are doing a wrong combination, let's see, for example, uh, Rome to Sweden, it's not converting into any color. It means this is not equal to the green color. That in that case, you have to make it you have to print a message that, okay, yeah, the test got failed or it's a wrong drag and drop, something like this or incorrect drag and drop, you can print it. So like this, what you can do that you can just move all the positive scenarios first. So let's see, uh, Stockholm to, uh, you can say a uh, Denmark or let's see Sweden and then the Washington to this one, this to this one, say all to South Korea and the Rome to Italy. Now you can see all these combinations are correct. After that, you have to, move back all the countries back to the capital section. So again, you have to drag it and drop it here like this. Okay, like this. So once all the countries and the capitals are again back to the capital section, then uh, second use case, you have to do some negative scenarios, like all the negative countries, all the negative scenarios means all the countries you have to move to at the wrong place. For example, Rome, I'm moving to Norway. Oslo, I'm moving to United States. Here, I'm moving to, let's see, Sweden. Washington to Spain, you can see nothing is getting converted into the green color so like this, right? All the countries you have to move to the country section with the wrong combination. Then again, back all the capitals to the main capital section here from this section to this particular section. Okay. From this section to the capital section. Now the use case number three is that combination of positive and negative. Some countries are going at the right place. Some countries are going at the wrong place. For example, let's see, Oslo is going to South Korea. Sorry, uh, Oslo is going to Norway. And uh, Madrid is going to Spain. And let's see, all is going to South Korea. But these four countries, I'll be moving at the wrong place deliberately here like this. And Washington is going to Sweden. So you can see that some are in the green color, some are in the white color. It means the combination of both a wrong and the correct ones. So this is a simple scenario, right? So three scenarios you have to do. I'll document it for you that use case number one, drag all the capitals to the respective country section, right? So this is a use case number one, that uh, positive use case that you have to move all the countries like this, right? So I'll say this is your positive one. Second use case that you have to do is uh, you have to do drag all the capitals uh, to the wrong countries. Okay. This is your negative scenario. For example, let's see if you are uh, moving uh, Washington and you're moving Washington to, let's see, South Korea. This is the wrong combination. So you have to drag all the wrong combinations. Then use case number three will be what? Use case number three is the combination of correct plus incorrect. So, right. So some are correct, some are not correct. For example, let's see again, you are moving also to Norway. But again, let's see, you are uh, moving a uh, Madrid, uh, Madrid to, let's see, Sweden, something like this. So one is correct and one is uh, non-correct, right? One is incorrect like this. So you have to move all the countries, but in between what you have to do after use case number uh, one, you have to do what move, what move all the countries back to not all the countries, actually all the capitals back to the capital section it means this particular section this particular section you can say capital section or the left section so i'll say uh, capitals left section 
So this is exactly the same thing you have to do with all other. After each and every uh, use case, you have to do it. After use case number one, do it. And then again, after use case number two, you have to do it. And then again, after use case number three, again, you have to do it. Right. And then after that, once it is done, you can just send me your email or your solution to my email ID. Don't uh, write the solution in the comment section. You can mail me the solution to Naveen animation 20 gmail.com and then i'll prepare a dedicated video on how exactly we can do it please don't write in the comment section with your solution if you have any questions or any queries in the comment section you can ask it now i'll show you i have already written the code something like this i'm not showing you the solution here i'm just see you can see that okay i'm dragging all the right countries to the respective uh, right capitals to the respective countries then again moving back okay back to the back to this particular capital section then some negative test cases that I have written all the wrong combinations, but in the positive test cases, I have written all the right combinations like Madrid to Spain, Rome to Italy and Washington to United States, Oslo to Norway and everything. And then I'm writing that some positive and negative combinations also here. You can say some, uh, th these three are positive and, but these four are negative, right? And in between moving capitals back again, back to this. And then this also we are using it, right? So let me run it. And, uh, let's see in my case, this is exactly the same thing you can do. You can use, uh, any solution with Selenium, or if you really want to use with any language, you can use it. It's totally up to you. You can use Cypress also, if you really want to use that. So see, it's doing all the right combinations first, see all green and again, back to the capitals. Then, uh, again, after a few seconds, all negative. Okay. Except one. And then again, back to the capitals and then the combination of both some positive, some negative here like this. So some white and some green color like this. And that's what, like whenever we are doing a wrong, a drag and drop, see for all the positive drag and drop, it's saying, yeah, correct drag and drop this and correct drag and drop this. And I'm validating the color also something like this. So I've already given you the hint that you have to validate the color also. Whenever you are moving to the right place. You have to validate the color is correct or not, or on the basis of correct, a color, you have to say that, okay, yeah, it's a correct drag and drop from, uh, you can just see all to say all to, uh, South Korea, Rome to Italy. It's a correct drag and drop. Now, the moment I do Rome to Sweden, which is a wrong one, it's saying incorrect drag and drop. So it should give a message over here like this. Okay. I'm not saying you have to design a, some framework or page object model pattern or no, no, no. Just simple, write a plain script and that's it. Okay, so let's quickly run it again and uh, let's see once again, if you have any doubt. So later on, you can ask in the comment section also. So I'll do one thing. I'm just going to run it again. Okay, so see it's running and uh, I'll do one thing. I'll just, just open the console also here. So see all positive, all in the green color. Again, back to this back to the capital section and you can see here all are correct. Okay. Then all are incorrect. Again, back to capitals. Then again, after a few seconds, some correct, some incorrect. And then again, back to capitals. That's it. Okay. You can use Selenium. You can use Cypress. You can use Playwright, whatever the solution you want to use it. You can use it. Any language also It's totally up to you. Right. Just mail me and then let's see who gives the right answer for that. That's all. You can share this video with others. This is actually one interview question. They really wanted to check how exactly you're thinking about these kind of scenarios with respect to drag and drop. And uh, you have to use actions class here because drag and drop used in actions class used with actions class. Okay. So that's all for this video. I hope uh, you got it. And uh, after a couple of days, I'll give you the solution also on YouTube. But meanwhile, you also try from your side. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.